How you doing, people? Yeah, I gotta take the music off, but um, you get a little taste of it anyway. It's Monday, the 23rd of May, and I'm gonna review the Paul Dunmall Quintet's new release, Yes Tomorrow, on the Discus label. And um, nice graphics on the disc there. This is a def this is a definite thumbs up. This is again, as I said, I'm not biased. I appreciate that they um, send me stuff to review, but it's because there's there's a consistent quality and approach going on with Martin Archer's label. It appears that he is endeavoring to just present the music artistically and artfully and um, in a pure manner CDs digitally are a great listen they are and um, the turnaround for manufacture also makes it more appealing so I completely understand why Discus does not release on vinyl although most of their stuff would be great on vinyl but I understand why it isn't okay so um this new release is by led by paul dunmall he's a saxophonist and um i wasn't really familiar with his work actually he, i looked him up and he's done a lot of things but I, I don't remember ever ever really hearing him or paying much attention what i find interesting about this album more than his playing is his comp composing he's a good player but the guitar playing is what keeps catching my uh, ear on this album. And he says it in the notes that it's a guitar. It, it's his guitar album. And um, Stephen Saunders, who plays on this, he catches fire a little bit. Um, I like his tone. Um, there's a searching aspect, it seems, to some of his playing. So I'm always, when that's happening, I'm waiting for him to catch fire. Okay. Where is he about to go? Thankfully, he does go places. And the ensemble playing on this is really good. The other thing is I like these compositions very much. Um, notable. The compositions are notable. They're, and they're enjoyable. I'll keep going. I'll go to another discus in a second, but I'm going to throw Michael D P. Dawson's in here because... It kind of um, dovetails into the other discus record. Hurdle Turtle Out of Heaven. So, Michael, I know you watch this. Um, if you've ever explained or talked about your deep interest in nature, birds and animals and stuff, and seemingly photography, I, I'd like to see that because it's like um, your, your CDs your releases are like a um it's like an introduction into your mind and it's like what's going on here um with the animals that's what i'm asking you know there's this consistent animal thing um in the note that you wrote me you said that you know you were um you know working in the spirit of um, modular synthesizers and stuff like Morton Sabotnik and um, I, I think it, you got it done on this one I have to play it some more but my initial response to this has been positive and like um, well you know I like electronic music so the um, timbres and the um, setups on here cool The setups and the timbres on here are um, engaging. Yeah, Michael, it's like you, you, it appears that you're quite the photographer, too. What is this, this about, you know? Um, it does give me um, pause to smile, you know. There's seemingly also some sort of a sense of humor going on here, Michael. What's the scoop, my friend? What is it? 
as that kind of gets rolling in the background, because I'm letting this play in the background until it gets too loud, is um, the other new release from Discus, Richard Scott's Everything is Always at Once. And to my ears, this is a departure for um, Discus. This is all electronic. Now, I haven't heard everything on the label, but this is the first thing that I can recall is all electronic. See how this kind of gets rolling here? And these region one is what we're in here. And it sounds slow, like it's slowly em emerging. The movement of turtles, how they're kind of slow and kind of creep around. I can't even turn this down though. Interesting stuff though, people. I encourage you to check out Michael P. Dawson's work, seriously. And this new, this other new release on Discus by Richard Scott. Um, this one is very enjoyable. I read the uh, notes about what he's attempting. And um, just like he explains in the notes, that's what you hear. And um, I would say this is for people who are really into synthesizers and electronics. Um, there really is no pronounced song form for you to hang on to, even though th there is structure here, as he explains in the notes, and I can hear it. Um, I would say that the most enjoyable thing about this is the tones and the timbres and the way that it keeps moving. Richard Scott. Bravo to Discus Music. And before I forget, I want to acknowledge to Andrea in Italy that I received your latest BCLT. Again, um, Andrea, you have been so amazingly kind to me. This is the latest by Verdana. This is the third record you've sent to me by them. A soundtrack. Music, or rather music inspired by the film America Latina. And this is very interesting. It's, um, I love this. It's soundtrack, incidental music, music that is descriptive in an abstract way. And then there's parts of actual songs. I like this. And it's real different from the other records I have by them. Verdana. America Latina. So kind of you to just send this stuff to me all the time. I'd never hear it otherwise, and I do like that. Um some response to some comments um someone's asking me about the new kendrick lamar this is what i have to say about kendrick lamar it, it appears to me that kendrick lamar is this current day's equivalent to a michael jackson or a prince or a david bowie we really don't from my perspective again i'm older and there's probably newer artists that i'm not fully aware of that are very popular on the world stage. But Kendrick Lamar strikes me as in that league as far as the public awareness is that he is a superstar. And so um, I'll hear what he's doing eventually. I won't be able to escape it, but... Um, if you want to, I'll say it again, I said it a few videos ago, if you want to know who I've heard recently, who I think is the voice that I want to encourage you to pick up on is more mother, especially when it comes to um, black consciousness and, and awareness of, of, of reality. This really trips my trigger. I've played it, played it again all the way through several times since I posted about it a while back. It's very strong. And I really like how More Mother 
expresses very clearly about injustices and insanity regarding human behavior. So that's 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 how I, that's my response to Kendrick. I'll hear his whole album eventually, but um, it's overall it's the music. Like for example, I bought these records at the record show yesterday. The dulcimer. This is very satisfying musically, but the words to me are really mostly shit. Um. So it's the overall picture there, and in general, the way I listen to music, it's the overall picture that either attracts me or doesn't. It's not about the words, it really isn't. Um, Vangelis. Seriously, folks, I, that, I have over 20 albums by Vangelis, but I don't collect him. Consciously, seriously. Vangelis records are easy to come by and and cheap and that's how I've ended up buying them. He's good, so when I see them and they're like two and three bucks, I get them. But I don't seek his records out. Um, I don't have Blade Runner and uh, um, I don't feel a need to have it. And I personally don't think it's his best work. And, um, you know, the folks who take it upon themselves the one thing you didn't show why do you do that why do you do that because it's annoying <laughs> I was just waiting for you to show and you didn't show that's kind of bullshitty okay now if we were sitting here at the house in person I would have fun with that because I would jack you upside the head verbally about, come on, man, I got all these records. You're gonna bug me about one, and I don't even, I don't even necessarily want it. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that about that, and it's a consistent thing that some people do, and it's like, I'm asking you, why do you do that? Is you know, because I think it's um, that's um. Just think about it. It's something that I try not to do. I used to do it. It's, a, it's annoying. <laughs> it is. So I don't <laughs> Think about it. Think about why you, you know, you showed all those records, but you didn't show this one. What's that about? What's that really about? <laughs> okay. I'm kind of rambling here because it's Monday morning. And I'm just getting my day going here. I don't really know what I'm going to do today. Um, so I'm just going to just stop right here. What's going on in front of me is I just I sent a message to the RAF band that it, 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 I haven't heard it yet, but it sounds like uh, Paul, the guitar player, has achieved a mix of, of the RAF album that he's happy with so I'm saying okay so let's just let's just get some graphics going and let's have at least a CD for sale at our next show which isn't until September that gives us time so if anything maybe I'll be spending the day trying to get that going from my end and other than that I just really just want to encourage messages and thoughts of peace in this mad mad politically fucked up world where um oh i want to get get into it okay i showed you some music and that's what i got to got for you today <laughs>